You thought this was my peer, but it was me, Dio. Vampires, vital energy, awesome poses, buffed men, and evil spirits. This is some of the most important things you have to know about my favorite anime of all time. Hi, my name is Manuel Soto, and I'm a student from group 707, and I'm such a JoJo fan. And that intro? Is that a JoJo reference? Of course, but what is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? It's one of the most important manga and anime of all time, created by Hirohiko Araki in 1987 and published on the Shueisha Jonen Jump, one of the most important big manga houses in all Japan, and also the house of many other big mangas such as Dragon Ball or One Piece. And today, I'm going to tell you the story about the Joestar family and their star life. Are you ready? Yes! I am! To be more clear and to know more about the universe this manga have, we have to go by parts. The story is divided on 8 parts, each one with lots of content and memorable characters. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about their plots and also my favorite character in each part. Part 1, Phantom Blood, released in 1987, follows the life of Jonathan Joestar, the first Jojo and his eternal battle against his adopted brother, Dio Brando. This part is set on England, and here we can see vampires, zombies, evil masks, and the power of Hammond. Part 2 Battle Tendency 50 years after Jonathan's death, we meet Joseph Jojo, Jojo's grandson, and his adventure to exterminate the creators of the stone mask, the Pillar Man an Asian tribe from Mexico that sacrificed people to fill their blood hunger. The power of Hammond is more powerful than ever, with the duo of Jojo and Caesar. Part 3. Stardust Crusaders Dio is back. After almost a century, Dio survived to his tragical end, adding his head to Jonathan's body. And now, Joseph Joestar is on Japan to teach his grandson, Jotaro how to control his new power, a stand. A stand is a representation of the owner's soul and brings them power and special abilities. Yodaro's mom, Holly, has been cursed by her own stand. This is a thing made by Dio. It's up to the Stardust Crusaders to eliminate Dio and save Holly from her stand. Part 4 Diamond is Unbreakable. This story is set on a little town in Japan called Morio, where Joseph's last son, Josuke Higashikata, lives. And Jotaro is back to tell the little Josuke the truth about his real father. Meanwhile, Jotaro discovered that his uncle is also a stand user. Jotaro warns Josuke about a serial killer that is rounding the streets of Morio. It's up to Josuke, Jotaro and the people of Morio to bring peace back to their hometown using the power of stands. So, in conclusion, there's lots of things that I love about Jojo. Jojo is a very special part of my life. It's that kind of series that you don't really know why you are there or why do you like it. You just don't care about it. You don't have to have a specific universe to explain it or something really complicated you just have to let it flow and have fun with it if you had fun writing something that people might like that's okay and that's why Jojo is so special to me it's so weird and so strange that it doesn't have to be formal or have to be serious to be something I really like 